Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and I hope you all are good and safe at your home. And um, those who are new to this channel, let me introduce myself. So I am Disha Jain, mentor at Geeks for Geeks. So today we are going to start with our new topic. But before that, I hope you all have subscribed our channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest updates among, among the courses on this channel. So firstly, let me show you something. Uh, we have a practice portal. Usme kafi sare courses hai. Based on your interest, like we have live courses, jisme live interaction ho sakta hai. We have online courses, jisme pre-recorded lectures honge. So just go and explore first. Ki agar aapki requirement ya aapki interest pe based kuch na kuch to yahan par hoga. So go and explore this. I'll mention the link below. And also, our another portal of practice we have multiple courses multiple paid premium courses in fact we have free courses in case if you are interested or you have some cousins or big brothers and sister then jao unhe batao ki there are so so many courses waiting for you uh, waiting for them according to their interest according to your interest and aapke liye bhi kids courses hai so go and check this playlist go and register for these workshops these are either free and paid both of them You can go through it. आपको जो भी जिसमें इंटरेस्ट है अगर आपको कोडिंग आपको एड्स आपको गेम्स मैंने मल्टीपल सेशन में बताया है इट्स वेरी वेरी गुड एंड इनोवेटिव सो एज पर अभी तो आप लोगों के स्कूल ऑनलाइन चल रहे होंगे सो यू हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम राइट सो गो विजिट दिस एंड आई आई नो एंड आई एम पीटी श्योर दैट यू विल गेट योर इंटरेस्ट कोर्स इन दिस पार्ट सो एंड वन मोर थिंग फॉर यू ऑल दैट इज we have got an exclusive coupon code created for all your youtube streams and i would request you to share it i will request you to actually use this coupon so that you can get extra 10% discount on every course available on the geeks for geeks so let us start with our today's topic that is quadrilateral now quadrilateral is a very important topic so ye session ko end tak dekhna hai because क्वाड्रिलेटरल एक्चुअली होता है सिक्स क्लास के मैथ्स में टू इंट्रोड्यूस द बेसिक्स बट क्वाड्रिलेटरल इज सच एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वो आपके मेन्स्ट्रेशन वो आपके विजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ सॉलिड शेप्स सॉलिड सिमेट्री वगैरह एंड एक्सेट्रा पार्ट में यूज होता है सो इट्स वेरी वेरी नेसेसरी कि आपको ये कंसेप्ट ऑफ क्वाड्रिलेटरल कंसेप्ट ऑफ शेप्स आने चाहिए सो दैट यू कैन गो एंड बिकम हेंडी ऑन दिस टॉपिक्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट आई एल मैंशन दी कूपन कोड बिलो इन दी डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स So let us start with our today's topic. So okay, now what is actually quadrilateral? So quadrilateral basically क्या होता है? Quadrilateral is a, a closed figure. So quadrilateral is basically a closed figure that is formed by joining four line segments. Okay, that is called quadrilateral. And अब four line segments है तो four sides होंगे, four angles होंगे, four vertices and two diagonals. Let me show an example. Suppose this is a four line segment closed figure है यहाँ पर. तो इसके पास four sides हैं. These are called sides. These are called angles. And uh, these are called the end points are called vertices. तो ये कोई एग्जाम्पल हो गए कॉर्डिलेटर के और क्या क्या एग्जाम्पल हो सकते हैं रेक्टेंगल क्योंकि रेक्टेंगल में भी फोर साइड्स होती है स्क्वायर स्क्वायर में भी फोर साइड्स होती है फोर एंगल्स होते हैं फोर वर्टाइस होती है और सपोज दिस इज आल्सो अ क्वाड्रिलेटर इसमें भी फोर सेगमेंट्स है यू कैन सी और ये भी एक क्लोज फिगर है इसके पास भी फोर एंगल्स है so these are called quadrilaterals now let us move to the properties and types of quadrilaterals now main properties of quadrilateral to so, yahan par main pehle ek diagram bana deti hu uh, quadrilateral ka ek basic se quadrilateral le lete hain suppose this is a b c and d So this is a quadrilateral A B C D. अब यहाँ पर four points जो A, B, C और D हैं. These are called end points और ये end points of line segments हैं. तो इसको basically बोलते हैं vertices. So these four points are called vertices. Now these there are four line segments. You can see A B. 
BC, CD, and AD or DA, whatever. So since हम ऐसे चल रहे ऐसे clockwise revolve कर रहे हैं, so we can say this as DA. So AD, BC, CD, and DA. So these are called sides of quadrilateral. Now angle DAB, angle ABC, angle BCD, and angle CDA. These are called angles, and these are denoted by angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D respectively. Now, A, um, A C, and B D. These two lines are called diagonals. Okay. So, हम इसके बारे में आगे और पढ़ेंगे. So, these um, lines are called diagonals. These are the sides. These are the vertices, and these are the angles. So, ये mainly four parts होते हैं किसी भी quadrilateral के. Diagonal, angle, sides, and vertices. Now let us move forward. Okay. Now, uh, sides. के बारे में पढ़ते हैं sides, angles, vertices, and diagonals. So what are sides? So sides be basically two types के sides होते हैं. हमने lines and angles में भी पढ़ा था. So let us study it in the quadrilateral. So adjacent sides of quadrilateral. Uh, let me draw again the diagram. तो आपको बहुत जल्दी समझ आएगा. So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. Okay. Now, adjacent sides of a quadrilateral. So what does the adjacent word means? Adjacent word means the closer, the nearest, or जो जिसमें common arm ये common vertices हो या common कुछ भी common angle हो तो वो adjacent angle, adjacent side, adjacent vertices होता है. ठीक है. So two sides of a quadrilateral which have a common end point are called adjacent sides. So here, for adjacent sides, what does it mean? It means that there is a common point. For example, AB and BC are adjacent sides because what is their common point? B. Similarly, BC and CD are adjacent sides. Why? Because it has the common point as C. Now, CD and DA. इसमें कॉमन पॉइंट क्या है डी सो दिस आर एडजस्टेंट साइड सिमिलरली डी ए एंड ए बी आर एडजस्टेंट साइड्स बिकॉज़ इट हैज द कॉमन पॉइंट और वी कैन से कॉमन एंड पॉइंट और वी कैन से कॉमन वर्टाइसेस दैट वर्टाइस वर्टेक्स दैट इज ए सो दिस आर कॉल्ड एडजस्टेंट साइड्स ऑफ अ क्वाड्रिलेटर नाउ अपोजिट साइड्स ऑफ अ क्वाड्रिलेटर अगेन टू साइड्स ऑफ अ क्वाड्रिलेटर व्हिच आर Call opposite sides if they do not have a common end point. Simple. So, for example, ki ab AB. Um, let me write over here. So AB and CD. Me koi common point hai? Nay. Is me koi common vertex? Nay. So these are called opposite sides. Similarly, BC and AD are opposite sides. Because ye dono me koi common end point ya koi common vertex nay. So these are called Opposite sides of a quadrilateral. So I hope you understood the adjacent side and the opposite side. Two types of sides only quadrilateral में adjacent and opposite. Adjacent का मतलब pass pass that is common end point, common vertex. Opposite means उसका opposite that is no common end point or no common vertex. Now let us move forward. Now adjacent and uh, similarly. एंगल्स में भी टू टाइप्स के एंगल्स होंगे दैट इज एडजस्टेंट एंगल एंड अपोजिट एंगल्स सो ये भी इसमें भी सेम कंसेप्ट है एडजस्टेंट का मींस नियरेस्ट दैट इज समथिंग इन अ कॉमन लेट मी ड्रॉ इट थोड़ा सा बड़ा तो व्हेयर इज दिस सो एग्जांपल सो एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स लेट मी नेम इट अगेन ए बी सी एंड डी Now, adjacent angle having a common arm are called adjacent angles. So, just me common angle, common arm hoga. That are called adjacent angles. That is, angle A and angle B are adjacent angles. Just me common arm is AB. Similarly, angle B and angle C are called adjacent angles. Just me common arm is BC. Similarly, angle C and angle D are adjacent angles. Common arm ye hai. Similarly, D and angle A are adjacent angles because just me common arm AD. Opposite angles is का opposite हो जाएगा जिसमें कोई common which are not opposite angles means which are not adjacent which do not have any common arm which do not have any common vertex so that are called opposite angles that is 
एंगल डी और एंगल बी कोई कॉमन एंगल कोई कॉमन आर्म नहीं है एंगल सी एंगल ए दीज आर अपोजिट एंगल्स ऑफ क्वारिलेटर तो सिमिलरली जैसे हमने टू टाइप्स ऑफ साइड इन क्वारिलेटर पढ़ा सिमिलरली टू साइड ऑफ एंगल्स होते हैं क्वारिलेटर में that is adjacent then a nearest that is closest or that have something in common and opposite angles jisme kuch common arm koi common vertex nahi hai so i hope you understood the sides and angles in the quadrilateral now let us move to the vertices and diagonal part okay vertices so a uh, similarly jaise sides aur angle mein two types ke hue the waise hi similarly vertices mein honge that is adjacent and opposite I I hope you are understanding it. अगर कोई भी डाउट हो या मे बी आई एम फास्ट सो लेट मी नो इन दी कमेंट सेक्शन कॉमन आम तो ये होगी ये दोनों एडजस्टेंट वर्टाइजेस है ये दोनों एडजस्टेंट वर्टाइजेस है ये दोनों एडजस्टेंट है और ये दोनों एडजस्टेंट है सिंपल अपोजिट वर्टाइजेस सिमिलर टू एंगल्स इसमें कोई कॉमन नाम नहीं हो ये और ये हो गया ये और ये बी और डी ए और सी दीज आर अपोजिट वर्टाइजेस सो टू टाइप्स ऑफ वर्टाइजेस एडजस्टेंट एंड अपोजिट एडजस्टेंट मींस इट हैव अ कॉमन साइड और कॉमन नाम अपोजिट मींस व्हिच इज अपोज व्हिच आर नॉट एडजस्टेंट और व्हिच डू नॉट हैव द कॉमन साइड okay let us move diagonal so what is diagonal diagonal okay let me draw a b c and d now diagonal is a line segment joining the opposite vertices of a quadrilateral it's called the diagonal of the quadrilateral so as a line segment or a line segment that is joining the opposite vertices like b and b were the opposite isme koi arm nahi hai koi common arm nahi hai a and c were the opposite vertices samne bhi pada so agar main kisi line segment se isse join kar do if i join the oppose uh, opposite vertices through a common line segment then such type of line segment is type of line segment ko hum diagonal kehte hain okay so i hope you understood this okay, again agar main koi bhi two types of opposite two opposite vertices ko ek single line segment se join kar do then such type of line segment to type of line segment ko hum diagonal kehte hain okay now let's move okay this is very interesting topic that is types of quadrilateral ab humne bhi common properties to pad li ki फोर एंगल्स होंगे फोर वर्टाइजेस होंगे फोर लाइन सेगमेंट होंगे फोर साइड फोर साइड होंगे टू डायगनल होंगे ये सारे बेसिक कॉमन प्रॉपर्टीज इन एवरी क्वारिलेटर यू कैन सी नाउ देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वारिलेटर बेस्ड ऑन देर साइड बेस्ड ऑन देर लेंथ बेस्ड ऑन देर एंगल्स एंड एक्सेट्रा पार्ट तो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वारिलेटर्स पढ़ लेते हैं एंड एंड दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आपको फ्यूचर में इफ यू एन Eighth, if you are in a seventh, if you are in fact in ninth, tenth, eleventh, or eleventh, twelfth, if you have your maths choose for that, then this is very important. Because any of the word problems, any of the menstruation, any of the concepts related to quadrilaterals, it will be directly based on these types. Like uh, you are given with a parallelogram, find the area, or you are given with a trapezium type of house, then find this, this, and so on. So types of question. So it's very important to pay attention on this topic. Now let's see. Oh, uh, wait a minute. So there are basically six types of multiple types of quadrilaterals. Hunge, but basically most importantly, there are six types of quadrilateral. That is trapezium, parallelogram, rectangle. Rectangle you all have heard. Rhombus, square you also have heard, and kite. Now. इसमें से कुछ क्वारिलेटर्स यू हैव हर्ड एंड कुछ आपने नहीं सुने होंगे बट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ईच एंड एवरी क्वारिलेटर एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टी टू डे सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आर पैरेललोग्राम ओके द पैरेललोग्राम क्या होता है पैरेललोग्राम इज अ टाइप ऑफ क्वारिलेटर 
जिसमें दोनों अपोजिट साइड जो होंगी वो पैरल होंगी वट डज दिस मीन Okay, sorry. So, yes. Okay. Not exact, but just bear me for this. Okay. So, uh, so this is a quadrilateral, right? Now, if both the pair of its opposite sides are parallel, because parallelogram का word से मतलब सब relate कर सकते हो. It's something related to parallel concept, right? Now, what does that concept is actually that जो भी opposite sides होगी, that is uh, AB and BC and uh, और कौन सी opposite side है CD और DC and BA. तो ये दोनों side opposite sides जो होंगी, that are parallel. If such a quadrilateral exists, कि both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel, then such type of quadrilateral is called parallelogram okay now let's see the properties so opposite side are of same length of course these agar dekho is is ka mai vice versa draw karke dekhte hain suppose these two lines are parallel and suppose agar mai aise consider karti hu ki ye do side ko maine parallel maan liya theek hai but ab mujhe agar close figure banana hai to mujhe aisa kuch banana padega to usse kya hoga ye wali jo side hai ye dono side ye wala jo pair hoga That is not parallel, but what I want both the pair should be parallel. वो कभी कब possible होगा जब जो भी parallel sides है, उनकी जो length होगी वो same. So this is a property that is the opposite side of parallelogram are of same length. Same length के होंगे तब हमें हम उसको close figure के उसमें draw करेंगे तब जाके वो parallelogram बनेगा. ठीक है? Now opposite sides are parallel to each other. This is a basic property. Diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Yes, it's very important कि जो भी diagonals होती है, they bisect each other. What does this means? कि ये वाली जो diagonal है, ये we understood the concept of diagonal. Now, what does the diagonal do? They bisect each other. कि ये वाली diagonal को ये वाली diagonal जो है वो midpoint पर cut करेगी. Like this is half and this would be half. This is half and this would be half of length. ठीक है? So this is also an important property. Opposite angles are of equal measure. This is like ये वाले एंग जो opposite angles of parallelogram होते हैं वो equal होते हैं. Sum of two adjacent angles is equals to one eighty degree. Yes. Now adjacent angles हमने पढ़ा ये दो angles adjacent होंगे. Angle C and angle D का जो sum होगा वो one eighty degree होगा. अगर ये सारी properties होंगी, then in a quadrilateral, then वो quadrilateral parallelogram होगा. If it follows the, all these properties, then such type of quadrilateral is called parallelogram. Okay, so let us revise once more. क्या क्या property है? First property is जो भी opposite sides होंगी parallelogram की that should be of equal length. Now opposite sides should be parallel to each other. It is a very basic property of parallelogram. जो diagonals होंगी वो intersect जा करेंगी. It will divide it into two equal half parts. So diagonals bisect each other. Now opposite angles जो parallelogram के होंगे that should be of equal measure. Now uh, and also the adjacent angles का sum होगा the sum of two adjacent angles it should be of one eighty degree. So these are the properties of parallelogram. Now let's move to our other type of quadrilateral that is rhombus. So rhombus rhombus में rhombus is a Type of you can say square, but it's not actually a square. Let's see how. So a, a parallelogram having all sides equal is called rhombus. So ro, जो parallelogram है, उसके नीचे वाला part है कि बस ये difference है कि इसमें सारी sides equal होंगी. Parallelogram में opposite sides equal थी. So it's a kind of parallelogram, but having all sides equal. 
Now, parallelogram ka type hai, that means that its sides are parallel to each other. Let's see the properties. All the four sides are of same measure. Nice. We understood of from here. The opposite sides are parallel to each other because it's a kind of, it's a type of parallelogram. Opposite angles are of same measure because it's a kind of parallelogram. Hai. Some uh, similar to parallelogram, that is sum of two adjacent angles of rhombus is equal to 180 degree. Diagonals perpendicularly bisect each other. So this is very important property of the uh, rhombus. He, suppose this is a rhombus. Okay. So its sides jo hai, that would be of equal measure. Parallel only sides. Okay. Uh, opposite angles ka measure 180 degree hoga. Is all right, but so the last property is diagonals bisect to karti hai. Jo parallelogram me karti hai. That is dividing into two equal parts. This diagonal is dividing this diagonal into two equal parts. Okay. But it by perpendicularly bisect means it is dividing at right angle. That is it is forming a 90 degree angle at this point. So this is a very important property to differentiate a rhombus from any other quadrilateral. Now, I hope you understood the properties of rhombus. Let's move. To rectangle, rectangle sabhi ne suna hoga. Still, let's discuss. Uh, rectangle is also a parallelogram. Kiki rectangle, maybe you can see the opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so a parallelogram in which each angle is a right angle. So this is a mandatory property. Ki just e har angle jo rectangle ka hoga, that should be of 90 degree. Then such type of parallelogram is called a rectangle. So, this is a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram. There are modifications, changes, variations. On their base, this is a type. Se, okay? So, parallelogram in which each angle is a right angle is called a rectangle. Now, opposite sides are parallel to each other. You can see over here. All the interior angles are at 90 degree. This is a very important property. Now, diagonals of rectangle also bisect each other. So, we will talk about this. Opposite sides of a rectangle are of equal length. Opposite sides are parallel to each other. All the interior angles of rectangle are at 90 degrees. The diagonals of rectangle bisect each other. So I hope you understood the properties of rectangle. So let's move forward. Now, square. Square ke baare mein bhi sab din ne, uh, I guess you all have done the question based on squares. Still, let's discuss the property. It's also a parallelogram in which all the sides are equal and each angle measures 90 degree is called a square. So, it's uh, that means you can see, um, I'm not good at drawing, I guess. Let me draw a square. A, B, C, D. Now, all the squares, uh, all the sides of the squares are equal. Okay. All the sides are parallel. You can see all the interior angles are 90 degree. So this is, this you all know. The diagonals of a square, but is uh, uh, diagonal of a square perpendicular bisect each other. That means it's dividing this diagonal into two equal half. Uh, two equal parts or two equal halves and also it's cutting at right angle and it, it is forming a 90 degree angle at the diagonal uh, intersecting point. So you all know square so not, let's not go in brief. Okay so our next two uh, quadrilateral is trapezium. So let us understand what does the trapezium means. So it's a quadrilateral having exactly one pair of parallel sides that is Okay, so consider this side as parallel. I have although not drawn it very well. So such type of quadrilateral, this may ek bhi pair of parallel sides hoga. Such type of quadrilateral is called trapezium. Now, let us understand the properties of trapezium. So only one pair of opposite side of trapezium is parallel to each other because if you have two pair um, Parallel only, so maybe it is a square, maybe it's a rhombus, maybe it's a diff, uh, normal parallelogram. What is the thing in trapezium is only one pair of opposite side 
of trapezium is parallel to each other. Now, these are uh, two adjacent sides of trapezium are supplementary. What does this mean? Again, this means that two adjacent sides means two adjacent angles form the angles as supplementary that is 180 degree. Tri uh, tri uh, sorry, diagonals of trapezium bisect each other in the same ratio. That is, the diagonals they bisect each other in the same ratio. That is, this the ratio of this diagonal, the bisecting at this point should be equal to this. So these are the properties of a trapezium. And also there is one more type of trapezium that is called isocellus trapezium. In that type of trapezium, properties are same. Of trapezium, only one thing differ is the non-parallel side, that is this side, are of equal measure. Such, if such is possible, if such type of trapezium is there, then such type of quadrilateral is called isocellus trapezium. So, let's go forward. Okay, kite. Now, a quadrilateral is called a kite if it has two pairs of... Um, if it has two pairs of equal adjacent side but unequal opposite sides, what does this mean? For example, okay, kite. So, you have seen that just imagine that only that quadrilateral is made two pairs of equal adjacent sides. The adjacent sides only that are equal and two unequal opposite sides. So, ye ये जो adjacent sides है, इसका और इसका pair, these two are equal, these two are equal. तो two equal pairs, two pairs of equal sides, और अगर हम opposite sides की बात करें, तो that are unequal. So, two pairs of equal adjacent sides, but unequal opposite sides. Such type of quadrilateral is called quite, uh, kite. Now, the pair of adjacent sides of a kite are of same length, means these should be of same length. The largest diagonal of a Kite bisect the smallest diagonal. Okay. So this is the largest diagonal and this is the smallest diagonal. This is this bisect each other. Uh, only one pair of opposite angles are of the same measure. What does this mean? That he kiss me um only one pair of opposite angles are of same measure. For example, these are opposite angles, so either these will be equal or either these will be equal. Only one pair of opposite angles are of same measure. So this is the properties of kite. Let's move. Oh, so we have covered all the types of quadrilateral in this. Now let us understand some basic formulas of quadrilateral so that it will be useful for yourself to solve the questions. So let's see the formulas and you can note down these formulas and solve your questions in NCRT or any of the reference. And of course, if you want, we can also solve some of the questions as per your choice. You can let me know in the comment section, okay? So let us uh, read or read the formulas and you can note down it for your purpose. So what is the area of parallelogram? Area of parallelogram is base. Suppose this is a parallelogram. Then what is the area? It is base into height. We have read about the altitude in our previous session. What is height? What is altitude? Just go visit if you have some confusions. So this is the area of parallelogram. That is base into height. Now rectangle area, sabko pata hai, length. This is length and this is breadth. So length into breadth. Again, square cup area, side into side. Area of rhombus is half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2. So suppose... For example, this is a rhombus, then this is diagonal 1, this is diagonal 2. Then what is the area of rhombus? Half into D1, that is diagonal 1, into D2, that is diagonal 2. Area of kite is also similar. Okay. Now, I will wait if you want to note down. Okay. So, let's move and see the uh, other formulas. So, these are the uh, formulas of perimeter, okay. So, square ka perimeter 4 into side hotel, rectangle ka 2 into length plus breadth, parallelogram ka 2 into base, suppose this is also parallelogram, so 2 into base 
प्लस साइड रोमबस का फोर इंटू साइड दिस इज वेरी कॉमन एंड काइट का टू इंटू ए प्लस बी वेर वेर ए एंड बी आर एडिसन पेयर सो दीज आर the uh, formulas of perimeter and area you can note it down and you can solve these questions based on this and also if you want me to uh, pick out some questions you can let me know in the comments uh, i'll see if it's possible we can like uh, we can do it in the next session so i hope you understood the basic properties the types of quadrilateral and uh it is all a very important topic as you all know as i stated in the uh, beginning of the session ki a bahut important topic hai abhi hum jab menstruation abhi visualization of solid shape and multiple topics cover karenge to usme uh, at least you should know ki quadrilaterals and uh, different types of quadrilaterals kya hote hain so that wahan par it would be easy for you to understand the word problem so solve the questions very easily एंड ये सारे फॉर्मुलेज तो आपको बिल्कुल माइंड में फिट होने चाहिए कभी भी कैसे भी कोई भी क्वेश्चन आए यू शुड नो दीज बेसिक फॉर्मुलाज बिकॉज दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी बेसिक फॉर्मुला एंड ऑल्सो जितनी आप प्रैक्टिस करोगे ऐसा नहीं है कि पेन पेपर लेकर आप फॉर्मूला याद कर रहे हो रेट्रो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी इट्स नॉट नीडेड जितने आप क्वेश्चन करोगे जितने आप प्रैक्टिस करोगे एज आई ऑलवेज से प्रैक्टिस मैथ्स में प्रैक्टिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो डू प्रैक्टिस तो इससे आपको अपने आप फॉर्मुलेज याद रहने लग जाएंगे ओके सो ओके वेल लेट्स मीट इन अदर सेशन टिल देन गुड बाय एंड सॉल्व करना सारे क्वेश्चंस एंड लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी एनी डाउट एंड इन फैक्ट अगर आप कोई और टॉपिक समझना हो यू कैन लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो टिल देन बाय बाय टारा एंड थैंक यू